first question I would like to ask the orthodontist, sir. So we get a lot of patients uh, who have a lot of problems with the skeleton. Basically, the problem is with the bone. There is a skeletal deformity, and they have they are diagnosed generally with skeletal deformity. They visit the orthodontist first, and the first thing that orthodontist tries to do is compensate that deformity dentally rather than actually seeing the skeleton. Okay. My first question to you would be. Uh, can a jaw deformity, that is a skeletal jaw deformity, be corrected just by orthodontics? First, we need to understand that uh, jaw deformities can be classified in three types. First is mild cases, second is moderate cases, then third is severe jaw deformity cases. So when we come to mild cases which are mainly dental irregularities, malalignment, without any uh, true deformity of the jaw or alveolar bone. So in such cases we can go ahead with normal orthodontic treatment and we can do means miracle with orthodontics only without any surgery. But, but whenever we encounter true jaw deformity which is a severe or type C cases, always we have to consult maxillofacial surgeon or plastic surgeon for the treatment plan without consulting a maxillofacial surgeon or orthognathic surgeon or jaw surgeon if we are proceeding with orthodontics alone we are doing injustice to the patient as well as to the fellow professional because we are not seeking their professional services if it is available and we may not get the best outcome so most oftenly dental and dental alveolar cases which are 50 to 60 or sometimes up to 70 percent can be treated with orthodontics alone but in severe jaw deformity cases involving class 2 class 3 severe malocclusion involving temporomandibular joint or any kind of facial asymmetry cases syndromic cases cleft cases in such cases orthodontics may not be sufficient and if we are going ahead with orthodontics alone or we are trying to camouflage the patient with our orthodontic therapy alone it is gross injustice and to some extent it is negligent also so it is always better to do a joint consultation with the maxillofacial surgeon for optimum treatment planning because these cases are really challenging to treat Okay.